Hey everyone, Bond here for Dr. Pennsylvania. Today's past periodical comes from the Philadelphia Record. This was on July 4th, 1904. Now it's important to note that July 4th fell on a Monday that year, so uh, all those festivities were over the weekend. And this is just a series of articles about basically how everyone hurt themselves over the weekend playing with fireworks because nothing ever changes. All banged at once. Rambling fire rockets sail into church windows. Merchant cigar caused blaze of glory and stopped sermon on Sodom and Gomorrah. Altoona, PA, July 3rd. Coupon. A town on the summit of the Alleghenies will have few, if any, fireworks tomorrow, but it had excitement enough tonight to amply satisfy all craving for a glorious 4th of July celebration. John Wick's the village merchant was the indirect cause of the premature celebration which placed him in the doctor's care and incidentally used up all the noise-making devices intended for the small boy. Wick drove to town on Saturday night to purchase his supply of fireworks. He remained in the city until this afternoon, starting home late with a wagon load of sizzling devils, skyrockets, and squibs. Just as he reached the outskirts of town, his cigar dropped into the straw at the bottom and five minutes later, when near the Union Meeting House, he saw the first sign of trouble. A pinwheel, which chanced to be ignited by the smoldering straw, was seized with a tantrum, leapt from its box and spread sparks through the entire cargo. A Roman candle, pointed Wick's way, opened fire at short range and drove him into the woods. A hundred skyrockets, which inclined in the direction of the meeting house, let go about the same time. The minister was discussing the fire which fell on Sodom and Gomorrah when twenty rockets entered the opened windows and spread panic among the congregation. By the time the congregation reached the open street, Wick's wagon and its frightened horses were disappearing on the main street in a blaze of glory. They sold toy pistols, 180 found by the police in the Frederick's place. Isaac Frederick and his wife, who kept a store at number 119 Christian Street, were warned twice by special policemen Ryan and Fox of the 2nd District not to sell any toy pistols that discharge blank cartridges. Notwithstanding the warning, Frederick Steinland, a boy yesterday, bought for 10 cents an American Bulldog pistol at their store. While discharging the pistol at 2nd and Queen Streets, he was seen by policeman Leonard and taken to the police station. Lieutenant Woods, on learning where the weapon was bought, ordered the specials to confiscate whatever pistols the family had in their possession, and 180 pistols, along with thousands of blank cartridges, were obtained by police. Warrants will be issued for the arrest of the Fredericks. Awful flash in boy's face. Gettysburg, PA, July 3rd. A combination of firecrackers, powder, and matches with which a party of small boys were amusing themselves last night produced an unexpected explosion. William Dillman received a terribly burned face and hands. 20 injured by explosion of dynamite cane. First serious 4th of July disasters, a peculiar one. Boy who held it unscathed. Newly patented noisemaker failed to work properly and he banged it on the pavement until it burst. Early harvest of troubles. Lads burned and blinded by powder and firecrackers and celebrating anniversary of the nation's birth. Pottsville, PA, July 3rd, a magazine cane just put on the market this year and which explodes in a composition of dynamite burst while in the hands of Joseph Durr on Center Street tonight, injuring a score or more of persons in the crowded thoroughfare. The more seriously injured were Edward Brown, age 15, both legs badly contused by firing pieces of the patent iron end of the cane. Fred Airbally, age 16, cut about the left leg and hand by pieces of splintered wood. Fred Rogers, age 16, left foot badly lacerated by pieces of explosive. Miss Deborah Schultz, left ankle badly contused by piece of iron. William Miller, age 17, both ankles contused. Daniel McKinnon, age 13, cut by the left leg, knee, and ankle by pieces of flying wood. 
There were a dozen others injured, but their hurts were so slight as to not require medical attention. Durr had been using the cane for some time when it blocked up. His repeated efforts to discharge it by striking it violently upon the pavement resulted in the explosion. The report so loud that it was heard by hundreds upon the street at the time, creating much excitement until it was ascertained that no one had been killed. Strange to say, in the concussion, the owner of the cane received no injury, the pieces having been blown away from him. Trolley car sets off fireworks. Patriotic folly caused panic among women passengers. Chester, PA, July 3rd. Overzealous patriots placed a box of dynamite cartridges on the car tracks of the Edgemont Avenue last week, and the terrific explosion that followed created something of a panic among the passengers and no little excitement in the locality. Several women passengers tried to jump from the moving car, while the motorman and conductor thought that it was an earthquake shock and nearly tumbled from their platforms. The police were unable to locate the guilty ones. Certainly vetoes toy pistols. Shippensburg Burgess orders arrest of any violator. Shippensburg, PA, July 3rd. In a proclamation in which he calls attention to the great mortality resulting from toy pistols and dangerous fireworks last year, Chief Burgess Rummel has forbidden the sale or the use of blank cartridge pistols and cannon crackers in his borough. He directs the police to arrest all persons violating the law in addition to the Pennsylvania statute concerning the matter. There is a borough ordinance imposing a fine. Every bang to cost four dollars. Pottsville, PA, July 3rd. Because of the many accidents here last year and some fatalities from tetanus, 4th of July fireworks have been tabooed. Prominent citizens tonight urge Mayor Smith to enforce tomorrow an old borough ordinance imposing a fine of $4 for every cracker, squib, or rocket sold or fired in the town limits. Many burned fingers in Bristol. Bristol, PA, July 3rd. Many young patriots here already nursing burned fingers caused by fireworks. The most seriously injured are Charles Evans, in whose pocket a firecracker exploded. James Train burned by exploding loose powder, and William English hurt in the same way.